Hi, welcome to Mati's Cookbook. Today's recipe is Banyard Millet or Kudurai Bali Pongal. These are the ingredients we need to make this healthy pongal. First, take a pan and add one third cup of moong dal to it. I like my pongal mushy, so I am using one third cup of moong dal. You can also reduce the quantity of the moong dal. Dry roast the moong dal until the raw smell from the dal goes off and the dal changes its color lightly. Transfer them to a bowl. Add 1 cup of Kudrevali or barnyard millet to the roasted dal and wash them 3 to 4 times and transfer the dal and millet to a pressure cooker. Now add 3 and a half cups of water to this millet and dal. For this quantity of millet and dal, 3 and a half cups of water will give a soft and mushy pongal. Add enough salt to taste and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. You can avoid turmeric powder if you don't like the color. Combine all of them together and add half a teaspoon of asafoetida powder to it. Pressure cook them for 3 to 4 whistles until they become soft and mushy. Now we can see how soft it is cooked. Use a ladle and mash them thoroughly. In a small pan, add about 2 teaspoons of ghee. You can also use a combination of ghee and oil for tempering the pongal. Once it turns hot, add 1 teaspoon of peppercorns and wait for them to get roasted. Now add half a teaspoon of jeera seeds. And let them both get spluttered. Add 1 teaspoon of grated ginger and roast them until they turn golden along with 1 tablespoon of cashews. In this stage you can also add 1 slit green chilli if you like. I usually do not add green chilies to my pongal, so I avoided them. Once they turn golden brown, add a generous spring of curry leaves and let them get roasted. Now the tempering of the pongal is ready. Transfer the tempering to the cooked and mashed millet and dal and combine all of them together. This is a very healthy and carbohydrate less pongal. Now super tasty and healthy barnyard millet or kudrevali pongal is ready. Thanks and subscribe to the channel.